Hey guys, in this video we will talk about energy diagrams. In your books you must have seen a figure like this where you have a graph on the y axis we have energy and on the x axis we have por which is the short form for progress of reaction and then you have a curve like this on the left end you have alphabet r which stands for reactant and on the right hand side you have p which stands for product so today we will try to understand what this diagram means and how to get useful information out of it so let's see the y axis shows the energy level so i can say that the reactant has an energy level here and the product has an energy level of this which means that the product has less energy compared to the reaction and therefore it is stable so why did not we go from reactant to product directly because in organic chemistry reactions do not happen from reactant to product directly what happens is that the reactant first changes into what we call a transition state ts is a short form for transition state which is of very high energy and then it gets converted to product so that is what this diagram shows this reactant first climbs up the hill to reach the transition state like this and at the top of this hill we have the transition state now this transition state then changes into the product by releasing energy the energy required for the reactant to reach the transition state is called the energy of activation for the forward reaction and similarly the energy difference between the product and the transition state is called the energy of activation for the backward reaction and the difference between these two energy levels is known as the enthalpy or delta h for the reaction so a reactant always climbs up a hill and then comes down to form the product now it can also happen that a reactant forms more than one transition state like this it first changes to transition state 1 which then changes to a somewhat stable species which we call an intermediate i this intermediate once again changes to another transition state ts2 which then forms the product now if you want to draw the energy diagram for this set of processes then you start with the reactant this side on the y axis we take the energy and on the x axis we take the progress of reaction you start with the reactant and you make a hill like this at the top of this hill you have the first transition state now then once again it comes down and forms another hill every transition state is at the top of the hill and you see a valley like structure here this is where an intermediate lies so intermediate is always present at the valleys and transition states are present at the hill tops and now transition state 2 gets converted to product so we have a diagram like this let's take one more example we have a reactant which changes to first transition state then we get an intermediate first this intermediate changes to second transition state which before changing to a product changes into another intermediate so we have a second intermediate which changes to another transition state and then finally we get our product 
I would like you to pause this video and try to draw the energy diagram by yourself. It's very simple. Just give it a try. Draw the transition states on the hilltops and the intermediates in the valleys. Okay, I hope that you have tried drawing the diagram for this uh, reaction. And let's match. We will have the y axis and the x axis. On the x axis, we have the progress of reaction. On the y axis, we have the energy. Let's start with the reactant. And we make the first hill for transition state 1. Then the second hill for transition state 2. And then we get another hill for transition state 3. And then we reach to the product. And on this valley, we have the first intermediate. And on the second valley, we have the second intermediate. So you can see a general rule from these graphs that the number of intermediates number of intermediates is equal to the number of transition state sorry, number of transition states minus 1 this is what you should remember from the energy diagram so guys in this video we talked about energy diagrams i hope you find it useful i will see you in the next video bye bye